Hey guys, Sean here. Welcome to the F1 Word and to the return of the news roundups. No messing about, let's jump straight into this one then. And apparently, Charles Leclerc is a much better driver than Max Verstappen. Well, that's according to everyone's third favourite pot stirrer, Eddie Irvine. Yes, speaking before last weekend's Japanese Grand Prix, the former Ferrari man said that he believes Leclerc is, quote, very clever, intelligent and very good, much better than Verstappen. For me, there is no discussion. Irvine, who retired from Formula 1 at the end of the 2002 season, reckons that Verstappen's tendency to make, in his words, stupid mistakes, despite the fact that he has been in F1 for, quote, many more years than Leclerc, and the Ferrari man's focus and lack of errors make Charles the better driver of the two. Lack of errors is an interesting comment, but anyway, Eddie is adamant that Ferrari do not have the best car as well, and the fact that Charles is winning races and could have won more tells you a lot. He also had his say on the incident involving Lewis Hamilton in Monza where Leclerc moved across to defend, forcing the Mercedes to take to the grass, adding that although he agrees the move Charles made was not 100% correct, it was still amazing to watch. The fight for third in the Drivers' Championship is incredibly tight, with Leclerc just nine points clear of Verstappen and Vettel with four races still to go. And with the two of them already coming to blows on track a few times this year, we could be set to see one hell of a scrap between two of F1's biggest young talents. Whichever side you are on, we are in for a potentially epic battle between those two over the next decade. Plans to introduce reverse grid qualifying races at three events next season have hit a snag as teams failed to get behind the idea at a meeting on Wednesday. The plan was for the current qualifying format to be dropped at the French, Belgian and Russian Grand Prix next year, replacing them with a sprint style race to determine the starting order for the Grand Prix on Sunday. Drivers would line up on the grid in reverse championship order with the winner of the qualifying race taking pole position. However, this was met with criticism from drivers, teams and fans alike. In order for the changes to go through, there needed to be unanimous agreement between all 10 teams, and that could not be reached on this occasion. Therefore, for now at least, the idea of trialling the races remains just that, an idea. It is believed that the sticking points included concerns over the extra wear on power units, use of more tyres, and the costs involved in fixing potential crash damage, as well as the costs associated with running extra races. However, if you are one of those who favours the idea, fear not, as it is still possible that they could be pushed through at a later date. Although they would still need unanimous support, a decision doesn't need to be made until just before the start of the 2020 season, as we saw, of course, with the fastest lap bonus points earlier this year. So once the team's concerns are addressed, it is still possible that we will see the new format given a go next season. Mercedes boss Toto Wolff has said that he is keen to see some on-track battles between Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas as the two go head-to-head -head for the title. With the Constructors' Championship in the bag, Wolf wants to stay true to the values that we have defined in the past and play the most fair game, and added, we are certainly keen in seeing them racing. Although Hamilton holds a commanding 64-point lead over his teammate, Bottas is still in the fight, mathematically at least, with a total of 104 points still up for grabs. It has to be said, though, that it will take a mammoth effort from the Finn or some truly awful luck for Hamilton if he wants to overturn that gap but Toto will let them race it out saying, quote, Valtteri is very much an outsider. 64 points, that is two and a half wins, so we will give them equal opportunity, and then it is for them to race it out on track. Bring it on. Formula One has reached an agreement with the City of Miami for a Grand Prix to be hosted in the city from 2021. Well, in principle at least. Talk of a race in Miami has been floating around the sport for well over a year, probably actually nearer two years now, with the original plan being to take F1 to the city this season. But as I'm sure you'll all remember, those plans never went through. However, things could be about to change after it was announced that a race could take place in May 2021, with a track to be built around the Hard Rock Stadium, which is apparently home to the Miami Dolphins. There you go. Included in the announcement were some big claims in terms of numbers. It is thought the race could become an economic juggernaut for South Florida, with an estimated impact of $400 million and 35,000 room nights. Wow, that's impressive stuff. The plans will likely face some opposition though as there is local unrest over the idea of a race being held in Miami and there have been protests recently against the idea. And finally, the Toro Rosso name will fall off the grid next season as it is believed, according to Autosport at least, that the team's planned name change has been given the go-ahead. Again, according to Autosport, and I'll quote the article here, an F1 commission e-vote took place in the week after the Russian Grand Prix and the name change was approved. So from next season, the team will be renamed Scuderia Alfa Tauri, or Tauri. I'm not sure on that pronunciation, but I'll go with Tauri. Why not?
The name comes from Red Bull's fashion brand, which was launched two years ago and is apparently named after a star in the Taurus constellation. Now, that's information I'm sure you are all desperate to know. Incredible stuff. But that is it then, probably for Toro Rosso, a name that first appeared on the F1 entry list all the way back in 2006 after taking over the old Minardi team and has boasted drivers including Sebastian Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, Max Verstappen, and who could forget the legend that was Jaime Aljaswari. That is it then for this video, as seems to be the case with every video at the moment, there is a poll at the top right of the screen for you to have your say on. Quite simply, who is the better driver in your view, Max Verstappen or Charles Leclerc? I'm sure this won't trigger any debate whatsoever, and on that note, you can also let me know your thoughts on any of the stories featured today down in the comment section. Now, I will be back soon with more content as ever, but in the meantime, don't forget that you can of course follow me over on social media, and all of the links you need for that are in the description down below. But as ever, thank you for watching. I've been Sean. This has been the F1 Word. And until next time, goodbye.